Hey guys, so it is now Sunday afternoon and just got home and on a whim I decided to go get a haircut. So I found a place that was open today and I'm really happy with it. I posted a picture on Facebook um, and I'm going to show you the back. So I um, asked her to put a lot of layers in it and already it just feels so much lighter and I'm really, really excited about it. Um, you know, the length, it's still long, but it just feels awesome. <laughs> so anyway, I just wanted to show you guys and um, this is going to be my beta for tomorrow. I'm not sure if I'll add anything more. I'm now going to, it's about 2.15, going to put my hair up, get on my loungy clothes and start some meal prep. So I might just film some of that. So I'll see you guys soon. All right, I've got the washer going, so you'll have to excuse my loud background noise. I'm drinking my water. I have not drank enough water yesterday or today. I do better when I'm at work because I fill up my bottle every break and just it's there, so I drink it. But while I'm out and about, I don't drink it as much. Um, here's how my hair looks in a ponytail. Cute. I just love it. It's so light, but still long. So I just have a ton of hair. <laughs> Shouldn't complain. I'm not complaining. Uh, so first part of meal prep, boil eggs. All right, next up is Faye Greek 2% yogurt. I put it in these little containers uh, from the Dollar Tree and yeah, they're, I, um, this size, which is 32 ounces, no, I'm sorry, 35.3 ounces, uh, gets me four containers. Okay, so here is my lettuce, my sunflower seeds, I've got string cheese, and here's my turkey. Okay, so what I'm going to do is... Just kind of disperse the lettuce throughout. There's no real science to this. And this time I got a spring mix. But, you know, I change it up here and there. So, you just kind of want to press it down. think that's about good all right so the next step is to get some string cheese out of its little packages so I first saw a YouTube video I want to say in 2011 definitely 2012 but I think it was earlier than that and a lady and I don't remember her name otherwise I would link her link her channel she made these awesome salads for her and her husband and she would do 10 containers like this and very similar to what I'm doing she would just take lunch meat chop it up she'd take string cheese chop it up uh, they liked olives in theirs um, I think at one point I was actually putting olives in mine as well but I don't need more. The last couple weeks that I've been doing this, I did uh, shredded carrots, but I forgot to buy any. So you just kind of take your string cheese, do a little bit here, a little bit there. There you go. So next with the lunch meat, I'm just going to kind of roughly chop it. I purchased this at Costco and you know always trying to save money and figure out what's the most cost effective uh, when I was doing cottage cheese and celery for lunch obviously that's a lot cheaper than these salads are but 
you know, it's time to branch out a little bit. So I kind of like when I can just kind of like crumple this up um, without making a huge mess. So again, I just kind of eyeball it. And all right, so there's the salads. I'm done with the cutting board. I'm gonna sprinkle on some sunflower seeds. <clears throat> Excuse me. <laughs> Spill them on the counter. There we go. Okay, now just time to put on the lids. I did buy some cherry tomatoes, but uh, I still need to wash them. So I'm gonna put the lids on for now. And then the cherry tomatoes I'll put like in a little snack size bag and then put them on the salad uh, right before I eat it. Get in there. Voila! Okay, so again I have the washer on so it's a little bit noisy but uh, this is the way I keep sandwich bags just out of convenience um, and then I have a big box of them in the cupboard. So this is black forest ham from Costco and I thought it looked really yummy for snacks. So I'm just going to kind of put them, put them in, you know, plastic bags for eating. not very talkative today I don't know what's going on I mean nothing like bad I think I'm just a little tired and it's been a long day it's been a really fun day just tired but I wanted to show you guys my meal prep I think meal prep is so important And I think it's, well, I think it's really important to stay healthy, regardless if you, you know, are trying to lose weight or not. I think uh, people generally, healthy people generally meal prep and kind of have a plan. Okay, so these are kind of the end pieces, but I think that'll be fine for one, one portion. Black Forest ham reminds me of being a kid, four or five. My uh, dad used to like it when we were kids. All right, so I'm just gonna wash my hands and seal these up. Okay, so here are my cherry tomatoes. These are those sweet orangey kind, so um, they're really good. I always like them when they come out. So I just washed them, I use a fruit and veggie wash so I spray them rinse them really good and then dry them on a towel and I've got strawberries that I'm getting ready to wash um, again I just spray it down and let it soak for a little bit and then uh, yeah I'll rinse them and dry them all right so you guys get the basic idea that's what I do for meal prep I uh, boiled and peeled the eggs, put them in the fridge, and all I have left to do is chop the strawberries and bag up the cherry tomatoes, so I'm not really gonna show you that. I'm just gonna do it and then sit down and uh, relax. So, that's my beta.